And here we see the wild recording all students in their natural habitat, recording the sound of the Orms Fountain. All right, guys. Hello. Hey, guys. We're alive. Okay. And yes. Three, <laughs> two, one. Oh, no, don't even fly. I got stuck. I, have <laughs> I kind of had to help myself to help. <laughs> How's it going? Hey. Two individuals. Two individuals. All day. All day. That's me. And By myself. Me, my. Anyway. No one else. <laughs> just me. But anyway, so um, when you're walking, we were talking about this earlier. I know. It's just all you left. Oh. I don't like the name of I'm afraid. It's in there. But There's absolutely nothing in there. Yep. You stopped it. I've got an armchair now. How freaking fancy is that? Hello YouTube. Welcome back to another monthly chronicle. This time for November 2013. The year is really winding down now. We've only got one more month left and it will have been an entire year for monthly chronicles. So it'll be quite a milestone, I'll be honest. When I first started doing them back in January, I didn't think I would actually follow through and shoot like 12 of these. Um, I hope to uh, continue doing them into next year as well. And I'll actually have more interesting things to talk about next year because then I'll be going into my second year of school and stuff. I mean, I'm still in my, I'll still be in my first year for about half of it, but uh, yeah, just something to talk about. I want my Dr. Pepper. I haven't had my Dr. Pepper fixed today. So a lot has happened in between uh, last month's Monthly Chronicle and this month's Monthly Chronicle, uh, including just schools going on, uh, making lots of new friends, working on lots of cool projects. And uh, one of the cool things that we've been doing is uh, in directing class we have to uh, pick out a script or write a script, which I wrote mine. Uh, we're put into, uh, put into groups and we have to write uh, scripts that we have to direct the rest of our team through uh, as actors. So uh, the one I did, I, I wrote mine. Uh, someone talking to me? Someone might be talking to me. One sec. False alarm. That was just my imagination. Uh, but anyway, where was I? Oh, the... Uh, the next one we haven't done it yet, but it's gonna be really funny. I'm gonna have it, uh, gonna have someone actually videotape it, and I'm gonna put it in the next monthly chronicle because it is hilarious. Uh, some of the other things we've been doing, uh, I've actually gotten to see three advanced screenings of movies that, uh, two of which have been released. The third one has not yet been released and won't be released until Christmas Day. Uh, all three of them were really good. The first one I saw was Book Thief, which I believe is out in theaters now. Uh, there's a bit of a story behind that one. It's one of my mom's favorite books, and I remember when she found out that it was being made into a movie, she was so excited, and when she found out that Jeffrey Rush was going to be in it, she was even more excited because Jeffrey Rush, I mean, come on, he's Jeffrey Rush, he's a boss. I actually went to the theater, and Jeffrey Rush was there, and I got to see him. I didn't get to meet him, and I didn't get to get his autograph, but I have lots of pictures, and there's even one picture where he's looking at me, which... <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was really cool. I mean, it's not every day you go to a theater and see Jeffrey Rush. I also saw the girl who was in the movie, too. I forget her name. I almost got her autograph, but then they ushered her away. The second movie I got to see before it came out was Thor 2. Uh, I only saw it, like, a few days before it was actually released, and I got to see it for free, and I got to see it in 3D, which was really cool. And I have to admit, I went in that movie not expecting much from it because, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't really care so much for the first Thor movie on his own. He was okay in The Avengers, but Thor on his own I didn't really think was as good. But this second movie really blew me away. It was really cool, and I, I'm not going to say anything, but the ending is spectacular. I, I really cannot wait for another installment now. The third movie I saw, which was just last... or actually it was... It was still this week. I keep forgetting. It feels like the weekend, but it's, or it's felt like the weekend for the past couple days, and it hasn't been the weekend. But uh, I got to see uh, the Ben Stiller movie, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. That one, it's okay. I mean, I'm not a huge Ben Stiller fan to begin with, but it was a good movie. I was very entertained. I would recommend. I do recommend seeing it. Um, but uh, out of the three, that was probably the 
out of the three, I like the other two better. Uh, in class, we all have to shoot a three-minute film for our first film one. And I've, I'm in a group of four people, and one person's a... And we all do something for each other on this film. So, like, there's one that I'll be directing. Another one will be my AD. Another one will be my DP. And another one will be my producer. And then for another one, I'll be... Uh, DPing one, I'll be ADing one, and I'm producing one. I've already done my AD and DP ones, and uh, the next ones are going to be within a week, so uh, which is in December, so I can't really tell you much about that. I'll have to put that into the next Monthly Chronicle video. Look forward to that next month, and I guess I will just have to leave you here with the November Monthly Chronicle and a film fun fact, which I will look up right now. Now, when I first decided to do uh, these uh, month or uh, film fun facts of the month, I I always thought I could just I know so much about movies I'll just be able to name one off the top of my head. Yeah, I think I've gone to Internet Movie Database for most of them. I'm gonna go with uh, Catching Fires. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Jennifer Lawrence stated that whilst filming the arena, she hit herself with the bow mid-sprint and dove into a pool of jets, leaving her partially deaf for six days. That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty bad. Although I guess in a way it's a little ironic because in the first Hunger Games book, didn't she actually deafen herself in one ear when she uh, blew up the uh, she blew up the supplies in the middle of the arena? So she deafened herself in real life uh, on the second one, doing whatever it was she was doing. So uh, again, I will leave you now, see you next month, and goodbye.